All right, Crystal. So, you know, we have all these these high temperatures coming this week, and we've right. heard about this, but I walked outside this morning, and I felt like the low, anyway, was starting to make progress. Like, in the low 80s, it felt pretty good out there. Yeah, we have some Valley neighborhoods waking up to the 70s. Wow. We are going to start to dial up on those morning temperatures under the excessive heat watch. Uh, which we're already sounding the alarms for Wednesday through Friday. Uh, but at least the mornings give us a bit of a break. But of course, anytime we hike up the heat, it just further helps to dry us out. And right now, you see the collection of our 12 News Weather Watcher photos, and it's just green, green, green as far as the eye can see. And certainly, this does help us out on one hand with fire danger right now. At least we're not dealing with a bunch of matchsticks here. But if we don't take care of it, we could be in a world of hurt this fall and winter because we are under a La Nina watch and that does typically lend to a dry southwest in the winter. So with all those extra areas of overgrown brush now because everything's growing like crazy with all the recent rain just ask any allergy sufferer you just got to do your part right now trim those trees cut away that brush that's growing crazy make sure to just keep an eye and put that defensible space around your property some other things you could do to help out with our fire danger because yes we still need to be on guard for it right now put out those campfires completely if it's not cool to the touch it is not completely out and never ever drag change just one spark is all it takes. Well, I have an update here for you in terms of the numbers of our wildfire year to date in comparison to the same stretch of time last year. Last year at this point in the calendar, we had over 1,800 fires, which burned 770,000 acres. Now, to date this year, we have just over 1,400 fires that have blackened a little less than last year at this point, but still alarming, nearly 600,000 acres. Our monsoon is not going to be giving out much rainfall here in the next several days. We're going all sunny and dry, high pressure, really the boss, jacking up those temperatures 110 plus. That's why that excessive heat watch is in place. And then finally, if we play our cards right over the weekend, we should see the monsoon pattern get back with the program and give us at least a shot at some showers or storms.